aid was supposed to enter Daraya, a besieged suburb of Damascus, but the International Committee of the Red Cross said it was denied entry without blaming any side. Soon after the convoy left the area, this happened. Government forces targeted the area. People were killed. Daraya was supposed to receive aid for the first time in more than three years. But the convoy didn't bring food, which was what the people of Daraya say they need the most. We need food for our children and families. Uh, the UN today brought uh, only medicine. No food aid entered, uh, has entered the, uh, the city. The people of Duraya complain of hunger and say sometimes they don't eat for days. Do not fight us this way, they plead. The UN estimates up to 8,000 people live in Daraya, which was a battleground before a truce was declared earlier this year. A UN fact-finding mission last month said the town is facing an extremely dire situation. We waited for four years and this is what we get. What will we feed our children? We want food. They're making fun of us. People waited for food. Our women and children are starving. We shouldn't accept this aid. It's a media stunt. The siege of Duraya has been one of the longest running sieges in the conflict. The opposition says the delivery of aid to Duraya is not enough. It wants aid to reach all besieged areas. It is one of the opposition's conditions to resume talks in Geneva. The UN hopes those talks can resume following a meeting of the International Syria Support Group in Vienna next week. And the ceasefire in Aleppo appears to have all but collapsed. The Syrian government and its allies launched a new offensive in the northern countryside. They tried but failed to advance towards Castello Road, the last remaining supply line to the opposition-held east of Aleppo city. The offensive coincided with the expiry of the Aleppo truce. From the beginning, the truce has been a failure. These partial truces mean nothing. We don't believe in them. The violence has not stopped. This is the fifth time in recent weeks that the government tries to control Castillo Road. There have been temporary and partial truces in recent weeks. They have held in some areas and breached in others. The opposition wants this to stop on all front lines before it talks peace. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Gaziantep.